Hey, what's going on? This is Jorge Cuervo. Make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, and make sure you mother smack that notification bell so you won't miss anything that we do. Party nerds, let's go. You're listening to Party Nerds Weekly. Party nerds in the house, everybody give it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, we got knees right there. <laughs> Guys, um, we are, the party nerds are beyond honored to have a uh, special guest with us tonight. Uh, first of all, let me start off by uh, welcoming another special guest, the beautiful cosplayer, Samantha. <laughs> How you feeling, Sam? I'm good, I'm good. How's everyone doing? Oh, I'm looking at your background. I can see you're hyped about something. Oh, I am <laughs> super hyped. Super I hyped. wonder what. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jorge with, what's that, like bases loaded from Nintendo in your background? Oh, it's uh, Baseball Stars 2, which came out in the Neo Geo in around 94, 95. Yeah. And you were probably the only one playing that game. (laughs) But guys, um, we have with us today the slugger, Major League Baseball slugger, the man himself, great personality, minus the beard. Give it up for Eric. Oh, she didn't even flinch. Thames lays out. Nice play. To his feet, he'll go to the bag. And a three up, three down. Days off. That ball's ripped. Way back. Eric Day sends one out of here. Thank you for joining us, man. How are you feeling today? Hey, I'm feeling good, man. I'm glad actually finally be on your show. Oh, yeah. I want to for a long time, and now dreams are coming true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, we, we are on it, dog. Why are you gonna make me cry? We just started. <laughs> so Eric, let me ask you, I mean, and I, I'm gonna put this out there because obviously you've had probably one of the most fascinating uh, careers, you know, and you've had the honor of actually, you know, traveling and play, playing baseball. Mm. Um, how long have you like been a nerd for? Where even before you were uh, a professional athlete, when you were growing up, were you always into nerd shit? It's a shocking day for baseball as rumors and allegations on social media saying that Eric Thames may be a certified nerd. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, shit. This is about to be a shit show. Let's see what's going on in the MLB headquarters and how they are reacting to this breaking news. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f- calm! Wait, 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 wait. started like my sister uh, was super into movies. Um, so when, at a young age, you know, she's about five years older than me, four or five years. So uh, she taught me like, you know, certain directors, like, like she got me hooked on uh, Army, Army of Darkness and then Evil Dead 1 and then Evil Dead 2. And then like got me hooked on like like Sam and Ivan Raimi. And so that kind of like started everything. And I started kind of exploring more of like in you know, comic books and you know, as a kid growing up. I mean, that's stuff like so you went down a rabbit hole once she opened the oh, door. Yeah, once you go <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost too much. It's too much. <laughs> I've always, I've always been been in that kind of stuff. It's always been an escape for me, you know, like sports gets boring, it gets stressful at times. So it's always nice to have an escape and kind of just nerd out and just lose yourself in a story. So I've always been about that. Now, when you when you're with your teammates, are are you like the only one, or is there actually a community of like nerd athletes, like people in like the locker room before a game? You guys are like, yo, did you see that episode of like Dragon Ball Z or something? Do you have friends like that? No. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like everybody's different. These guys are into like like Game of Thrones and like different shows. Like guys will talk about stuff like that. But in terms of like comic books, like I mean, there's a few guys on certain teams, but for the most part, it's just me. You know what? And that's what makes you unique, my friend. Okay, okay. Like like for example, when Endgame came out uh, in '19, uh, I wanted to see it forever, and so um, I did this thing with like the Boys and Girls Club of New York. And, you know, I had a bunch of like, like inner city youths come and like, you know, like probably 10 of my teammates, 
10 guys from the Mets and like coaches. And we all, we run into theater and we all watched it. Cause you remember it was all sold out. Like you couldn't get tickets. Yes. For the yes. release. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch it. So I was on Etsy. I was trying to get like a costume, like a Thanos costume. And like, I bought like the pants and like the vest off Amazon, but I needed like a legit gauntlet and helmet. So like from Germany, I was trying to overnight it and it's all this money and like it wouldn't get there in time. And it got there like an hour before the show. No. So I'm walking down the street in New York with these kids and like my teammates in the Thanos costume with the gauntlet. And everybody's <laughs> looking at me like, is this guy like a street performer? I'm like, no, don't give me any, I don't want any change. I don't want nothing. I just want to watch this movie. I'll never forget sitting in that, those chairs tight, the gauntlet on the thing, the helmet's like squeezing my head. It was all worth it. See, I love that. See, that, that's the extent of my cosplaying. So that's it. Eric, Eric no, it would have been great if you're in Thanos in the middle of the movie, you just stand up, act like you're going to snap. Be like, I'll do it, y'all. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gollum's just ripped off my arm. Yeah. <laughs> People start screaming, running out the theater. Um, and so uh, let me ask you another question, because you played yeah. over in Korea for a while. Korea, like, yeah. So the... Um, how, is the nerd culture real anime heavy over there? I know Jorge's a big anime guy. You know, I, oh, I'm rocking yeah. my, my hero academia. Um, <laughs> how's that culture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very anime driven over there. And for me, that's where I draw the line. Like not on purpose, but there's just so much. Like I need to like get into more stuff. I got into uh, Attack on Titan a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, and I love that. But like anime, like for years, I mean, it's like, how many years has that been around? Hundreds and hundreds? I don't know. <laughs> Since the dawn of man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's just so many comic books and books and I'm like shows and so I, I need I need you guys to kind of help me get into it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, we got you. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 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 one of those things like obviously like a uh, dragon ball z was something i watched years ago and it was cool and that's probably the most popular one but there comes a time where someone's like oh did you see this you know uh sam when we went to katsukon that opened my eyes i'm like i don't yeah. know who these characters <laughs> Me too. I, I, felt felt like, I'm I was like i don't i don't know who you are but you look amazing <laughs> and then my ego is like i need to learn this shit man i need to so i've been like binging naruto and all these things so now i'm in full just straight up like i'm gonna start teaching myself japanese <laughs> Eric, um, so you, you, um, when we were talking on our partners page about uh, the Disney Investor Day, you were just as hype as everyone of all the news dropping. Like, was that almost like too overwhelming? Was it like too much? Oh. It's like, they didn't break it up. Okay, do your Star Wars news and then do the Marvel news and like, just kind of break it up into like, it was just all in one day. Like we had like 50 new projects coming and like, of course, like we all need that right now. It was a tough year for everybody. No theaters, like nothing. And just like after the Mandalorian killed it, like that Mandalorian got me hyped on all the new Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Did you go like, back? Did you go back? Uh, once you saw the Mandalorian, did you go back and binge on the older movies or? Uh, no. I mean, I, I know, I know like the timeline, and everything, but um, I mean, the their most recent trilogy was absolutely trash. <laughs> Yes. Yo, Eric, we debate this all the time. And you oh. know what the weird thing was when I uh, no the debate. last one. There's no debate. Oh, there is none. There's no debate. You know, and don't get it wrong. The the rise of the Skywalker, the first one was passable. Like to the point where I watched it like, okay, let's see what they do with this. But once they did um, the second one uh, where they killed off Luke Skywalker, to me, that was just like disrespectful. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, as you guys can see, but um, <laughs> I, I fell asleep during the second one. So I, I'm not the biggest fan of the, the newer stuff. So I agree. So we, we know Eric has great taste because he has his mind on right. Because so there are some people we talk to like, oh, it was awesome. I'm like, just get out the room right now. <laughs> we cannot talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. Yeah. So what, what, out of everything, what would you say you're looking forward to the most? Oof. I would say um, the Star Wars shows, like the spinoffs with, with Boba Fett. Uh, <laughs> Asaka Tano, like, okay, okay, yeah. confession. All right, so that came out on Thanksgiving. Summer, I drove up north uh, to see my grandparents, drove down, I stayed up for three hours to like watch it at midnight. I'll never forget, I didn't go to sleep till like five or 6 a.m. 
because I was just so hyped. So, okay, I, everybody knew she was going to be in that episode. Yeah. It's kind of like, all right, let's see if it's going to be like a little cameo or maybe you'll suck her a white lightsaber. Like, okay, maybe that's her. No, but like first 15 seconds. Oh, bang, yep. Action. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right there. She looks so good. I'm like, they did such a good job. Like, They did so good. Did you watch Clone Wars or Rebels? Yeah, when I was younger. Disney yeah. Me, I remember that. It's real. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, my God. So I'm pumped to see that. And like the Obi-Wan Kenobi with um, Hayden Christensen. I was gonna like, say, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I, I love it. Like, obviously, um, I don't think he's a very good actor, but just Thank you, like- yes. <laughs> You're seeing everything. <laughs> Yo, Eric, I'm laughing because- make my power. <laughs> you, I'm gonna say make my power by seeing fit tears. Yes, <laughs> but he's yeah. gonna be in that in that in that whole costume the whole time, just like yeah. uh, Pedro Pascal, Mandalorian. If you have Darth Vader show up, it's gonna be legit. <laughs> Did you guys play um the Fallen Order? Darn all I I started it. I started it. I'm like a good like a quarter way through where they had the kid um Cameron Monaghan, the kid that was the Joker in Gotham. Yeah, and he's great so far. I, I'm definitely oh, gonna finish playing the game. You finished it. Oh, well, I can't say it now. You haven't played it. Oh, spoil it. Look, look, you can spoil it. Spoil it. Go ahead. No, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, see, now I want to spoil it, but I don't want to spoil it. Okay, just play it. L let me know what you think about the ending. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. But, um, but yeah, so that's going to be sick. And I like how movies and shows are doing now, like bringing back older people. Because, like, the fans want that. We don't want recast, we don't want this and that. So the whole like Spider-Man three and like all that, like that blew my mind. It was like, yeah, that and, uh, was actually a question. How do you feel about the, uh, about Daredevil joining the MCU? Oh, I love it. I mean, that, that, that show should not have been canceled. Like that was probably one of the no. only- What do you guys think? What if they bring back Ben Affleck to reprise Daredevil <laughs> in all the No, we don't want that. Finish him. Or, hey, only you, man. <laughs> no. I feel like people are going to say, okay, is he Batman or is he Daredevil? Which one? Oh, I know. That's true. Like, <laughs> I mean, it would work with the multiverse. But yeah, I mean, you're right, Eric. Like, when the whole Spider Man thing, I, I think what's hyped is just like you said, like our childhood, some people, like, people will argue who's the better Spider Man, uh, whether it was Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, or um, uh, uh, what's his name? Toby. Yeah, you know, or Toby. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's always been debatable, but now everybody's kind of getting their wish, you know. So I, I have full trust in the MCU that they're gonna make it interesting. Like, I'm a, are you a little worried? Maybe that's gonna be like Street Fighter, the movie, like way too many characters and too much shit going on. <laughs> no, no, after seeing Infinity War and Endgame, like they pulled all that off. I know there's a lot of character development that went in before that, but it, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Oof. I know that I know that these shows are coming out, but I think they're gonna be, you know, they announced so many shows, they're probably gonna someone gonna come out like in 10 years, eight years, you know. Do they say something about a timeline? Like maybe they're coming out a couple next year or from what I read is that they were just giving you the like it's pretty much like a five-year plan, yeah. you know. But uh they actually said during the quarantine, because a lot of these uh video, a lot of these shows have special effects. That they're actually ahead of schedule because wow. a lot of times the FX parts takes longer than the acting. So that's why like Shang Chi is actually going to be pushed up because they already did all the like the Fing Fang Foom graphics and all that, which is kind of cool, hmm. you know. But but I, I guess that's a good question. Where my question is, is it going to get like uh, Eric? Let me know what you think. You think it's going to get too diluted? Are we going to get too much of it to where we're like, all right, y'all, chill? Like we <laughs> or can you not have enough? I think it works now because people are at home. Like you're Zoom calling, Zoom calling from home, you're watching TV, you're watching Netflix or Disney Plus. But when people start going to work again, I think they're gonna lose like that magic. Cause it works now because people are just watching binging everything. But we'll see next year, like cause society always changes, the culture changes. True. I think it might be a little too much, um, but we'll see. I, I feel like after Endgame, a lot of nerds were like emotionally drained. Like at least for me, like I don't want to see a Marvel show or DC for like two months. I needed some emotional time to re kind of rebuild. I feel like I went through a breakup, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought it would be nice to have those options. And like with the new way, you know with the Mandalorian, they talk about that new screen they use. Oh, I yeah. saw that. The that volume. Was, what was that? That's like, 
And so it's like it's like a 360 degree like screen, so it makes it easy to do sets. Yep. So now instead of like you're going to locations and filming here, now it's like you just do put a rock right here and have him do a scene, but like you can change the TV you're screen. Right. It's kind of like Jorge's background, where it looks like yeah, he's in that old shitty ass '90s <laughs> game. <laughs> Is this Tron or what? <laughs> All right. Jorge, wait a minute! You've entered the Matrix. <laughs> no, but dude, you're so right. Like right now, like uh, I mean, it's actually I want to bring this up to you too. What yeah. do you think about them recasting, or I'm sorry, not recasting Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman? Yep. Rest, um, rest in peace. Yeah, I, I fully agree with that. Like, you can't recast him, especially this far. You know, I mean, it's been what two months, three months since his death and untimely death. Like, mm. you can't, you can't. So they could do um, have have Shooty fulfill the shoes, or maybe like have kind of like a group, like have somebody else kind of. I mean, it's it's a tough direction for them to go because he was such a big part of that universe, and especially going forward. So. I think it's a good call. They're not going to recast him, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do with who's going to become the new Black Panther. Out I mean, of respect for him, you know? That's a tough one, just because you have a character, you know, a comic character, Scar, they don't die. They, they live on. Unfortunately, what happened to Chadwick, he did pass on. So the question is, do you freeze the, the, the character with the actor who portrayed him. Now, maybe, I, uh, my thinking was maybe they could do like, a, you know how they have the alternate universe, the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could bring in, let's say Michael B. Jordan, Killmonger's uh, character was uh, the Black Panther in another universe. Yep. yep. Something like that, I, you know, but I'm, I'm with you on that one, 100%. Yeah. So, so Eric, this is something we wanted to do with you. We were super hype about, get ready for this. We're going right. to throw some blitz questions at you oh, just, to, just, just to find out where your nerd head is. And I know each of us got a couple. So, Jorge, you start off. What you All got right. for me? Here we go. All right. So, Mandalorian versus Boba Fett. And they Ooh. both have prep time. Mmm. Boba. Boba. Yeah. Oh, he was a clone. He was a clone. <laughs> 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 he was born into... The, the Mandalore religion. So I would go Boba all day. Okay. And he's old school. He's been doing that shit for years. It's just yeah. like, you oh, know, God. Mando's too new to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite Marvel character? Oh, wow. I would say Hulk. Um, I always loved Hulk growing up. Um, for some reason, when I was younger, I loved, I, I know Colossus is, I guess he's kind of Marvel now. Um, but yeah, Colossus and Hulk, just like the strength and just yeah, like big and kind characters. of characters. Kind of and like yourself, dude. You're a monster, so you're like oh. you can relate. <laughs> <laughs> less less of a temper though, less of a temper. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was hoping. I can't wait. I want to see She-Hulk. I want to see how they because I know he's yeah. gonna, Mark Ruffalo is going to be in it. So hopefully, I know he's going to be Professor Hulk, but I want to see more Hulk. I want to see him just freak out. Like rage, like that battle yes. before on the on the on the uh, the carrier, the helicarrier. I want like stuff. It's a full on like, re like blow up the earth kind of stuff. Yeah, Luz is like a planet. What is it? Planet killer? Planet Hulk? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! You know, and the and the cool thing is, I think that's where they're having the story because in the comics, Hulk does turn bad. You know, he does kind of lose it, and no one can stop him. So if they take it in that direction, we haven't seen this Hulk. That'd be pretty dope. Like Hulk versus like She Hulk, and they just go, "Ooh, that'd be cool." Oh, yeah. As long as it doesn't go to Brazzers, and then everybody's like, oh, I should watch oh, uh -huh. What the fuck? I never would have. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Some of today's biggest hits. The way that you are. Now that's what I call music volume four, including Smash Mouth. Like One incredible CD with the Backstreet Boys, Jennifer Lopez, and Mandy Moore. what I call music volume four with your credit card or by check, you'll receive this limited edition CD carrying case free. 18 big hits all on one amazing CD. Now that's what I call music volume four, including Eiffel 65, Britney Spears, and Macy Gray. To order now, that's what I call
Electronic Home Music Volume 4, call the number on your screen. Or send 1898 for one CD or 1598 for one cassette plus shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Must be 18 or older to call. Um, you're at a bar just chilling with your friends and three girls walk up to you, one of which is Gal Gaddis, Wonder Woman, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, or uh, the Elizabeth Olsen Scarlet Witch. Which one are you kicking it to having a drink with and you down with? So it's actually those characters. Like, is it just the actress or? Tie the actress the... into the character. Yeah. MCU. Okay, the, you know, Wonder yeah. Woman. Wonder Woman. I agree. <laughs> no, man. She's, she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know what? I don't get some tie. When, when I met her at one of the cons, I remember, first of all, like, she was like my, like, I, I'm like six foot. We were like eye to eye. And I'm like, I like your huge. I'm a ye. Sorry, Mrs. Gadot. <laughs> Love it. What's your favorite fandom? I would say uh, not so much Star Wars. I would say DC. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I, I, I always love reading comments on like a post and it's like just the bickering back and forth between like the Marvel fandom and like the DC, just, but I, I'm, I'm a DC guy. I just love the darkness. Yeah, I was I gonna say it's much darker DC. Yes, yeah. and I, I, I just love that. So, I'll so are DC. you looking forward to Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League cut? Yes, yes. like I, I've heard about for so long, we all have. And it's like when they finally came out, okay, it's gonna be like four hours, five hours. And I yeah. series, I'm like, I want to see, because the trailer alone had so many unused clips. And I'm like, why didn't they use that in the movie? They put together, like, Steppenwolf looks like a like a plush doll. Like, <laughs> careful. I'm like, okay, I want to see this. I'm so pumped. So hopefully, hopefully, at least it's a little bit different. and kind of gives the fans a little bit of something to, to smile now, about. <laughs> now, but not, now, I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Do you think, like, the, like with D, I'm like you growing up only had, like, DC comics. If you look up there on my wall, they're all like DC comics. Oh, I up there. Like I love, I love like Green Lantern. Oh yeah, I'm totally nerd out. This is a, come with me and you'll be. Um, <laughs> so, but the uh, theatrical, uh, you can't touch Marvel. I mean, even with the, the whole Netflix series. So I felt kind of disappointed when I saw some of. Now don't get it wrong. Like I love Shazam. Did you? Which of the DC movies yeah. did you really feel? I, I mean, the first Wonder Woman was. It was, it was okay, it was good. It was a good movie. Uh, same with Shazam. Shazam was a good movie, but nothing, I think Marvel just spent so much time developing characters. Like they knew it was like a 15 year project, 11 years. But like DC tried to like, they were late to catch the bus and they had to try to catch up and make all this stuff. Like you can't make a Justice League movie without explaining who the Flash is. Like nerds know who he is, but like the average Joe doesn't know who the Flash is. So, I think DC just rushed into it. They need to take them time and just kind of do their thing. And then that's a Marvel move. So that's why they won. <laughs> that's why they won. That's why, they won. That's why it's, it's game over. All right, yeah. so I'm going to ask you this question because th this is something we've debated on our Party Nerds page. Um, if Batman went up against Black Panther in a tactical fight and they have a day's prep, who wins? Mm. I'll say Black Panther just because he has powers. But but Batman is oh. <laughs> hard. This is hard. <laughs> you know, Eric, whatever you say is going to be controversial. They were like, mm, and one there's going to be like, no, 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 Eric, you didn't realize. He's going to start flipping through his comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I guess laughs> oh, I'll show you. <laughs> just take a crystal and he just defeat. Um, <laughs> I would say Black Panther just because he's agile. I mean, he doesn't have like, all the tools and all the equipment that Batman does, but. I stick, I stick with Black Panther, man. I love him, so. I would I'm want him going. to win. I would want him to win, but the fact that Batman took down the Justice League, eh, you know, like, I don't know. I, I would want Black Panther to win. Yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about it all night. It's like, damn. <laughs> Tonight I'm like, I'm like sitting in my shower, just like. like, uh -huh, I got it. Right? <laughs> oh, <you're too> wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we go, Eric, because um, uh, many of the people watching this, many of them know that uh, when you were across seas, um, mm -hmm. supposedly you have one hell of a singing voice, huh? Oh, no chance. <laughs> 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 Yo, oh. Oh, man. Sail. 
so you were on uh the was it Korea's version of the Mass Singer? Yes, the the original. The, the U.S. got it from Korea. Took it from them. So yeah. like, because uh, I know over there you're you're like obviously the, your stats through the roof. They love you. Like, do you still like uh like when they revealed you on the show, were people losing their minds? Like, it's you. It's oh, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole time, the whole time I thought I was like a rapper or like a break dancer or something like that. Because like obviously like a lot of guys or singers, so they all have a kind of thin body, but obviously I have like an athletic body, so. And I took it off and they were just like, what? And like. He used to have a huge beard, but it was shaved then. Yeah. And yeah, like like girls were crying. It was it was interesting. I mean, was that like an experience of a lifetime just doing that? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I was just hanging out and they called my agent one day and said, Hey, would you do it? And I I really can't sing. I probably sing drunk doing karaoke. But I was like, you know what? I'm bored. Like, why not? It'll be fun. <laughs> I, I had to go to singing lessons. I mean, I did all this stuff to prepare. I had like, and like, it's crazy. Like speaking like a different language to somebody is like, okay, that's easy. But on TV, it's like, you have to be perfect. Hit every like oh. syllable the right way. So like, sing and sing. So I was, oh, I was so nervous. I was, oh. But once it was done, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you became the phenom known as Eric Thames. <laughs> it's him. A picture with you, Mr. Thames. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric, yo, guys, give it up for Eric. Thank you so much, man, for coming on the show. I, I, first of all, like I said, if ever you want to come on and help us co-host, you are always welcome, my friend, because it's good to have fellow nerds in uh, you know, professional sports, and you are the man. Hey, the, the next. Trust me, all the stuff coming out in the next few months and few years, oh, I will be on here a lot. So nice. Listen, brother, and we we I love to have you like man. a cosplay or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come, next time, come with your Thanos cosplay. But like, I'm back on the show. Boop, you should have it. The show just ends. Green is the show. <laughs> uh, you guys, party nerds, and if we if we don't talk to you guys, you guys have a great 2021. Hopefully, it's not going to be like this shit year. And we're, we're going to be going in a better direction. So, guys, party nerds, we are out. <laughs> <laughs>